Hi guys, uh, so OpenAI has just approved the Quiver Quantitative plugin that we've been building for ChatGPT, and I wanted to give a quick introduction on how you guys can use it. Uh, it's one of the first plugins that's been approved for the ChatGPT program, uh, and it'll allow users to access a lot of the real-time data that's available on our site currently. And so some of you might be already familiar with these, but right now the plugin has access to congressional stock trading data, uh, corporate lobbying data, insider trading data, and some other data sets that'll go over in a couple minutes. Um, so the only thing is right now, currently OpenAI only allows access to their plugins for users who pay the $20 per month uh, GPT Plus subscription, but I do think that it's likely, and I'm certainly hopeful, uh, that plugins will be made available to all users in the near future. To access the plugin, you'll just go to chat.openai.com and you'll arrive at the ChatGPT homepage. You'll want to select the GPT-4 model um, and then also click the plugin tab. Uh, once you click the plugin tab, you'll be directed to either select the QuiverQuant plugin or if you haven't downloaded it already, you can scroll to the bottom there, go to the plugin store, download it, and then you should be able to select it uh, in the plugin drop-down. Drop down. For the next few minutes of the video, I'll just be demonstrating a few of the data sets that the plugin has access to and some prompts that you can use to retrieve data um, from the plugin and these, these specific data sets. I've sped up the parts of the video uh, where ChatGPT is pulling the data like it is here, just because sometimes it can be a little bit slow, um, but feel free, of course, to pause at any time so that you can see what, uh, what's been produced by the prompts. Uh, next, I'll show, again, a pretty basic prompt uh, showing how to get some lobbying data, also relative to Apple stock. Um, here, what, the, what ChatGPT returns, uh, or rather what the plugin returns, is pretty extensive in regards to like you'll see here, it just returns a lot of the very specific details of the lobbying disclosures. So one thought I had was to be maybe a little bit more explicit in the prompt in what details or if I just want the amounts returned, uh, the lobbying amounts returned. So there's a lot of fine tuning that you can do as the user in regards to just, I guess, how, how you phrase the prompt. Um, the last data set that I'll example here is the uh, corporate insider trades. There's something pretty interesting uh, that I want to point out here. You'll notice that I ask, show me three of the largest insider purchases in the last month. Uh, and once it prints, it prints this out, you'll actually notice that one of these trades that it returns to me is actually a sale. Uh, so I think that it's just important to always double check probably the returns that you're getting from ChatGPT. Uh, so you can always just visit quiverquant.com to do that and visit any of the relevant dashboards um, to, to sort of confirm that data. So that'll be all for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Definitely stay tuned for any updates and additions to the QuiverQuant plugin, and I will see you guys in the next video.